Hello, I'm Linda, and this video is an informational guide for accessing and using TechShare databases. This is a collection of databases available to participating libraries that cover a wide range of topics and provide various types of materials for information needs. We'll start by going to TexShare.net, T-E-X-S-H-A-R-E dot N-E-T. Then click the linked text at the top right that says select your library. Then you'll select your local library, which in this case is the White House Community Library. The password is capital T, capital X, 75791. You can log in anywhere as long as you have an internet connection or are connected to a data plan if you're using your phone. Feel free to save this password to your computer, like I have, so that your login process is even faster in the future. Then hit the Access button. Once you successfully log in, you are taken to the Getting Started tab. There is also information about how the databases provide access to over 27,000 journals, over 171,000 ebooks, and over 15 million images, videos, and interactive resources. The database recommends that if you're searching for general information that you stay on this page or go to the most popular page. If you know the specific name of a database or journal you want to look at, it is recommended that you find it via the Resources A to Z tab. The best way to start with a specific search will be through the By Subject tab. That is the tab we will click next. Clicking By Subject takes you to a page where databases are organized into 13 different categories. This will help streamline your searches and help you to become familiar with certain journals and databases as you continue to use them. Now we're going to walk through two sample searches to get a feel for what these databases look like and how we can turn our search questions into searchable phrases that produce results. These are the two sample searches we will conduct in the video. The first one says, a woman is looking for resources to help her granddaughter in her math classes. The child is in the third grade. The woman also has a grandson in the 10th grade who is starting to study for the PSAT. The second search sample reads, a man is about to open his own business and is looking for materials about small business ownership that are considered self-help books. He does not have a lot of time to come into the library often, so he wants these materials in ebook format. Let's start with the first sample search. This patron is looking for a resource that will assist both her grandchildren in their studies. While they have different needs due to their ages and grade levels, one resource might offer something for both of them. Let's start by going to the K-12 Resources tab on the By Subject page. After scrolling halfway down the page, you see Learning Express Library. It is described as a collection of interactive tutorials, practice tests, articles, flashcards, and ebooks patrons can use to improve academic skills in reading, writing, math, and science, as well as prepare for high stakes exams. This is one resource that would meet the needs of the patron needing study materials for both of her grandchildren. Learning Express Library is the option we will look at for the patron's needs. I do want to make a note about the available databases. The previous page also shows Explora Elementary and Explora High School, which look like viable options. The degree of separation could be beneficial since one child is in third grade and another is in tenth grade. It would be good to consider if you want separate resources for these very different needs, or just one resource for ease of access. For this tutorial, we will start with the one database that covers more of the information needs on its own. When you select Learning Express Library, you're taken to a page with a breakdown of the types of resources available. This is shown in the first image on this slide. On the top row are test prep resources for high school students. 
Once you click that first box, you can see a list of each test that there are study materials for. There are definitely many resources for the patron to share with her grandson as he prepares to take the PSAT. We'll now return to the home page to find materials for the granddaughter in third grade. On the second row of that home page, we see grades 3 to 8 educator resources. You can then select from elementary or middle school. We would select elementary, then see a further breakdown of practice materials. We successfully found one database that met the grandmother's information needs for both of her grandchildren. In the next slide, we'll begin the second sample search. This person is looking for ebooks written about two specific topics that need to be considered together for their information need to be met, business and self-help. We will return to the By Subjects tab of the Texture Database's website. There we see a tab for ebooks. When we click on that, this brings up two databases Biblioboard and ebooks at EBSCOhost. ebooks at EBSCOhost mentions business as a topic of full text books in its description, so we will choose this for the search. The landing page is pretty simple, and we start with just the basic search bar. We will click Search Options to make one change, then conduct our search. Boolean logic will help us combine the two search terms together into this one phrase. Boolean operators include AND, OR, and NOT. This type of search takes facets, which are the important terms from a search question and possibly their synonyms, and combines them with Boolean operators in order to find relevant results in a database. After clicking Search Options, we will change the search modes to Boolean slash phrase. Then type Business and Self-Help. These are from the first page of results. The results are still very different from each other in terms of background of the author and the story actually told in the ebook. The search could be refined in many ways to find more relevant results. In my second search attempt, I changed the terms to business management and self-help. Another note, I did try to search business owner and self-help, and additionally I searched business ownership and self-help, but I did not obtain more than one result in both of those searches. There were five results for the business management and self-help search, and the second and third results seemed to be the most relevant for the patron's desired books. We are done with the sample searches, but I did want to point out that TechShare does have five databases in Spanish. The descriptions are in mostly English, but the materials within these databases are in the Spanish language. Two databases are centered on health and medical topics, and the other three are more general and broad in their scope. Native Spanish speakers and those learning Spanish can benefit from TechShare databases as well. So, where should you go on the website if you're having trouble and needing assistance? At the top of any page on the TechShare databases, there will be links to frequently asked questions about TechShare and help and technical support. Help and technical support tells users that most technical support is provided directly by your library and encourages users to find their library and reach out via phone or email for this technical assistance. If the library cannot fix the issue, they have the ability to reach out to people who manage TechShare databases directly. These are just some of the frequently asked questions. These first three talk about who can use TechShare databases, how materials in these databases are different from what you can find on Google, and how you can access TechShare resources from outside your local library. These are just a few more questions from the Frequently Asked Questions page. These questions give a little more information about how TechShare is managed and operated, and how you can potentially get another resource added to TechShare's collection. 
The third question also reiterates that getting error messages and having technical issues is something you can tell your local library about, and they should be able to help you and fix those issues. About TechShare is the last page I'll discuss. This gives detailed information about how TechShare databases is managed by the Texas State Library and Archives Commission, TSLAC, how they purchase access to databases and electronic resources, and a brief privacy statement. If you find yourself with unanswered questions about TechShare and its electronic resources, there is also a contact email at the bottom of the page. If you'd like to participate, the following are some optional searches that you can conduct to see if this video has covered the basics of database searching with TechShare databases. This is not graded or analyzed in any kind of public way, and your participation is completely voluntary and optional. You can also choose to just complete one or two of these searches, along with a short review of the process you took and where you feel you succeeded or needed help. Librarians will analyze results and note where improvements can be made to this video in the future. Thank you for your consideration. The searches are An elementary school teacher is looking for read-aloud videos from author and illustrator Kevin Henkes, as well as more information about him and his books. A family has just moved into a new house and want to build a compost bin and planter box. They want do-it-yourself guides that they can easily download and follow step-by-step. Step. A patron comes in wanting more information on the history of the Kickapoo tribe of Native Americans for a research paper. She wants to see available resources before specifying her paper's topic further. Thank you for watching.